I'm packing to go away for the weekend and um, it's like 5 in the morning, 4.30 in the morning, so. So let's jump right into this video. I started off by blow drying my hair just to get it real soft because I let my hair um, air dry after I washed it and it was a little rough. So it needed to be blow dried. Um, and then I just started off by parting my hair off into two and trying to get that line as straight as possible even though I couldn't see the back of my head. It came out really, really straight so kudos to me. And then I'm just sectioning off my hair into two and laying out my edges. I'm taking this new got to be gel. I want to try it out and see what the hype was about. And it actually really, really, really worked very well. And then I'm taking this really, really strong goodie brush and I'm brushing my hair down into the position that I needed to braid, braid it into. And then I'm using this jumbo pack braiding here, just regular connect line here and I'm splitting it to two. And then I'm just um, um, separating the ends. So you want to take two sides just like this and then between your thumb and your index you cross under and you want to make this front part as small as possible take a piece And then every time I move, I add a new piece. I actually ended up doing the side over because I ended up noticing that it was kind of tilting a little bit and the braid was just crooked and I didn't like it. So I ended up doing it over after I did the other side. Um, I didn't really show that much of me doing it over in the video, but you get the gist. It's the same technique that I used to braid. So once I was done with the right side, I went over and started to do the exact same thing mirroring on the left side, separating my edges for later, and then gelling down the rest of my hair and started to braid. This side just came out so much neater and that's why I decided to do the other side over because, because you only have two braids in your hair, it needs to be as symmetrical as possible. Something like this does take practice, um, learning to braid on yourself, especially braiding with extension hair. So just keep practicing and using this technique and you should get it. Well, here's where I decided to do the braid over. Um, just showing you guys a little bit of me doing it over. But it looks so much better now. I was not about to leave the house looking crazy or lopsided, so. And here is the hair that I use. This is the free dress hair. I'm going to leave the exact hair in the description box for you guys. And I use um, some hair that had some blonde streaks in it just to, you know, spice it up a little. And I'm crocheting the hair only to the hair that is at the nape of my neck. Um, I'm not going any lower than that because I ended up cutting that braid. And I'll explain to you guys why a little bit later. But um, I'm just crocheting in the hair. And I'm just being thorough and making sure that I'm using the same amount of hair on both sides of the braid just so that it gets the right amount of curliness and it's not like one side has more hair than the other. And I also have a video on how to crochet for beginners so if you want to brush up on your skills and go learn how to do that check out that video. I'll also leave that in the description box as well for you guys. I 
All right, so here is the braid that I was telling you guys about. Even if I tuck it underneath the curly hair, for some reason when I got up and was like being rowdy and moving around, you can kind of see like the braid sticking out. So what I did um, later on, but I didn't show this in the video, I basically just um, cut the, the braid and then I just burned it as far up as I could without cutting the crochets off. Um, and then I just burned the ends of that braid and then you really can't see it at all. Okay, so once I was done crocheting all the hair in, and yes, I did use all three packs, <laughs> um, I went ahead and just opened up the curls because I do love big, voluptuous, thick curls. Um, and I didn't want my hair to look thin and like blah. So I opened it up and then I took a piece of the hair and started to wrap the hair around just to hide where we put the crochet curls in and um, just make it a, little, a lot more seamless. And it just made it look a lot more neater. Um, of course, you guys can do a better job than I could wrapping, but I was doing this at five in the morning, so don't judge me. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and then I just went ahead and took my edge booster, edge control, and did my edges. And I love this edge control. Of course, when I saw it in the beast spy stores, I was like, listen, Companies is at it again, y'all, trying to make popping edge control. But um, I went ahead and tried it, and I thought that, you know, all right, it smells really, really good. Maybe that's all that there is to it, but the edge control actually does a pretty good job. It lays my edges, and I'm natural, so that's a plus. It doesn't flake, it doesn't get white or crusty during the day, and it actually holds throughout the time that I'm outside. Um, and it's been really hot this summer, so the fact that it's been able to contain itself is pretty, pretty good. Um, and I like to just do new designs throughout my edges um, every now and then, switching it up, you know. <laughs> so that's what I did. And then I went ahead and took my Got To Be Freeze Blast Spray and just, you know, doo -doo 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 -doo, sprayed it on there. Made sure that everything has some hold. Um, and then I wrapped my hair down with a scarf, but... Before I did that, um, I went ahead and just cut some of the ends that were kind of straggly and uneven and kind of gave the curls a shape a little bit. Um, and then I tied my hair down and that was pretty much it. Get away, factory. Get away, factory.